Hello and welcome to Tomo's Tech. Today we're going to be looking at why you might want to buy this, but really you should be buying this. Let's take a look. The likelihood is that you've already picked up one of the Amazon Fire tablet devices. They're often on sale, often as cheap as £29.99 pence for the 7 inch version. There we go, that's me. Ooh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? However, today, I don't want to look at the really cheap one. I want to look at the one that's a bit bigger in size. So we're looking at the 10 inch tablet. So the standard ridiculous argument that I've heard before as to why you shouldn't buy the 10 inch tablet is you can just use a 7 inch one and move it a bit closer to your face but this doesn't quite give you the same experience. With the 10 inch tablet, the resolution is a lot higher. The 10 inch tablet also has a faster processor and more memory. This means that you can play apps or well, I say play apps, you can play games or you can download apps that normally require a lot more memory than the seven inch tablet. The experience of consuming media on the 10 inch tablet is a lot nicer. The higher resolution means that you can watch full 1080p videos on the likes of YouTube. You can also install the Google Play Store to the 10 inch tablet. You can do that to the 7 and the 8, but with the 10 inch one, you will get a better resolution on apps such as Google Play Movies. The available show mode switch allows you to use your tablet as an Alexa. And that's not just holding down the home button and saying Alexa, that is also hands free. I shall demonstrate this functionality right now while the device is right next to me. Alexa! What time is it in New York? The time in New York City is 1.45 p.m. There we go. Get a lovely picture as well. You don't get that on some of the other devices, do you? With the ability to install some of the Microsoft applications, such as Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint, this device can actually be used for productivity with a decent sized screen so that you're not squinting or holding it really close to your face. There is an array of keyboard cases that you can buy for this device which will connect via Bluetooth. This will enable you to type just like you could on a normal computer. It will also integrate with things such as the cloud storage that you can get from Microsoft built into the Microsoft applications or you could even install the Google applications if you install the Play Store. If you're not sure how to install a Play Store on one of these devices then see the link in the description below and you will be able to do that. I'm just going to attempt to play Asphalt upside down without really looking at the screen other than what I can see while I'm recording. Not very easy but I am getting there. But as you can see it's a very very capable gaming device. There's no stutter or anything. It's very responsive. So these are all good things about this tablet but are there any negatives you should be wary of? So if I just put the camera in front of my face and take a shot and then if I flip the camera around and take a shot with the front facing camera, rear facing camera, rear facing camera, let's see what happens. As you can see, both shots are pretty bad. This is not a device I would use to take photos that I would want to keep or print as the resolution is just not good enough. So comparing this to a device such as an iPad, what do you get if you get an iPad? Well you get the Apple ecosystem, some people love that, I don't, I hate it. You also get two cameras that are better, although the, um, the selfie camera on the iPad isn't much better, but it is better. The iPad would also give you a faster processor that is more capable, including features such as 4K video editing. You can download video editing apps onto this device. For example, PowerDirector will enable you to do things such as chroma keying, uh, and it'll also let you save as full HD video. So you could edit on here, but I wouldn't film any video with this device. So you're probably asking yourself, why would this guy buy one of these in 2019, given that they've been available for a couple of years now? Well, the reason being, the tablet market isn't really shifting at all. There's, there's not many decent new devices coming out. Yeah, Apple have just brought out the iPad Pro and Samsung have got some very thin bezel devices about to hit the shops. Uh, however, if you're wanting to watch your media, this is everything. Or if you're wanting to be productive, admittedly the cameras are terrible, but there is things that you can do. If you pair this device with a digital camera or a mobile phone, you can pop the memory card in this device or you could use one of these which converts an SD or micro SD card 
to USB and on the other end you can connect it to USB OTG so if you've got a digital camera you could film your footage or take your photos pop your memory stick in here connect it to the tablet download them upload them to the cloud I guess what I'm trying to say is do not buy the 7 inch one if you can afford the one with the bigger screen you won't be disappointed it's very very snappy to use and it is a very good value device if you are interested in purchasing one please do use the links in the description below because that does support my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.